Hi, I am Rajiv Gondal. I am here to help you learn some simple ways of writing essays. And today we are going to learn with the help of this sample where uh, we are going to see an essay I just wrote uh, in 20, 25 minutes. And I also was, I was able to check it and upload it also. So uh, basically uh, there are some, some important points which I want to make here. The first is that if you really want to master the art of writing essays, you should learn phrases. So learn phrases which are very commonly used in writing the essays or in uh, uh, depicting your thoughts. See, an essay is a collection of some thoughts or some events which are more or less fixed. You are writing an introduction, you are writing the body, you are writing the confusion. So if you have got some phrases to support those ideas to depict the, or to, to give words to those scenarios, it would be very easy for you to write any essay. Like I wrote this essay in almost 25 minutes. And uh, I mean, I'm talking about writing the essay as well as checking it. So I was kind of done with it in 25 minutes. And this is because I remember most of the phrases. So when I write them, uh, it becomes quite intuitive for me to give words to my thoughts and write in a very straightforward manner make sure that you answer all the questions there in the essay for example this essay says some people think that illegal internet downloads are having a negative effect on music industry so it's talking specifically about music industry others feel that they have little or no impact on artists discuss both views and give your own opinion so here it's about illegal downloads and the impact on music industry um, and so we have, we have to discuss both views as the question says discuss both views and then give your opinion so this is the question now when we look at the answer it says there are mixed views about the impact of illegal internet downloads on music industry while some people consider it to be a boon others regard it as a bane now this is something which we can use in many many situations while some people consider it to be a boon others regard it as a pain more or less fixed this essay will discuss both perspectives and argue against the practice of illegal download uh, yeah one point which i want to make here is that uh, the ielts evaluation criteria says that you should not use any mugged up phrases or any prepared phrases but then still if you have some kind of framework there with you it is always helpful. I mean, do not overuse the cliches, but then you can definitely use a few of them to enhance speech. And they actually fit very well in uh, many situations. To begin with, so there should be a comma here. Those who support illegal downloads give two major arguments to support their views. They find that artists such as singers, composers, musicians, and others earn there should be a comma here others earn a lot of lot by recording and selling music so in their opinion it does not again a comma it does not cause any major dint to their revenues if people download the songs after its release the second reason put forth in favor of illegal downloads is that it actually adds to the popularity of artists so it helps them to promote their brand value. So basically a short paragraph to depict the other side, which I'm not supporting. And as you can see in the introduction, this essay will discuss both perspectives and argue against, against the spelling of that. So A-G-A-I-N-S-T, against. So in the beginning itself, we have told, we have, we have uh, shown our side. And this is important that, you tell in the introduction itself, you tell what exactly are you going to support. Your first paragraph should be about the side that you do not support. And then you write a big paragraph to uh, on a, a big paragraph or two paragraphs to substantiate the side that you support. On the flip side, those who oppose illegal downloads bolster the viewpoint. Now look at this phrase, bolster their viewpoint. Again, something which is very uh, nice collection of words. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a new vocabulary, 
but then you can use it at number of places bolster their viewpoints like you know many uh, people bolster their viewpoint by giving various examples on the flip side those flip side those who oppose illegal downloads bolster their viewpoint by stating that such practices lead to substantial revenue losses to the music industry for example if pirates get access to original songs before it is released the artists suffer a humongous loss such losses lead to conflicts between different artists as it generates plagiarism and other malpractices okay so a few words plagiarism is like copying things and illegal copying is also called as plagiarism further such illegal activities promote a culture of earning easy money through piracy the whole black internet now this like black market is there we call it as black internet and underground market thrives on such illegal activities this easy money gives rise to gives rise to gives to here other unhealthy practices in the society as the perpetrators perpetrators of such crimes do not value the importance of hard work and artistic excellence to give to conclude given that illegal sale of music leads to huge revenue losses and promotes and uh, an unhealthy culture i do not support this practice this is very very precise and simple so this is how you are supposed to write as a, as you saw i wrote some very um, ready made phrases phrases jisko hum hindi mein jugad bolte hain to write this essay you can also master some phrases and that can make the whole process of writing very fast and full proof all the very best to you wish you lot of success in ielts and all other exams that you face in your life thank you so much